Ladies and gentlemen, uh, just a real quick video that I'm making to show you guys uh, something I just discovered that I did not know because it has not been covered on any video that I have seen of the Typhon. Uh, first of all, this bracket right here. that is adjustable you can raise or lower or tilt your wing to be however you want it there are four four different holes two in the front two in the rear which means you can have your wing at one two three four four different positions and it is up to you how you want to run it I ran mine straight and up at the top because I wanted to make sure that if I flip over, it's going to destroy the wing before it destroys my shock towers because which one is cheaper to replace and the wing. So, but that's not actually why I wanted to make this video. That was just a little side note that I thought of. So I was just um, trying to get the water out of my tires. So I've been squeezing them, I've been, you know, doing everything that I could do because I was really trying to not have to vent these tires. Um, I have had tires before that you vent them and that's where a rip starts from when you, uh, you know, when your tires get down there and I do not want to ruin these tires. Um, so I ended up venting them anyway. I just made sure I did a teeny tiny little hole I used a uh, 3 32nd size, and I actually <laughs> put a piece of heat shrink around the tip of the drill bit. If it'll focus, I put a piece of heat shrink on the drill bit, and then put the drill bit in my Dremel, because I don't know where the hell my drill is. Well, it worked. So anyway... I vented the, I vented the uh, tires, and for those of you that don't know what that means is, you put a tiny little hole in four different spots of your tire, like right across from each other. So one there, one there, and then one there, and one there, and then on the inside, the one or two holes, the stock rims that come on the Typhon have two. You use hot glue or silicone or something like that, and you fill those holes. Because what happens is, well, those holes are there for when they're on the car, you do a big jump. When you hit the ground, the air that's in the tires needs to vent out somehow. It needs to escape there. Otherwise, you could rip the glue off your tires. You could, if your tires are weak and old, you could that could blow your tire out. Um... So they vent the tires. But with the holes being on the rim on the inside, what that also means is that any snow or water or dirt or dust or mud or little tiny rocks or anything that gets onto the inside of your rim, when your tire is spinning, the centrifugal force of the stuff on the inside of your rim is going to shove everything into those holes. And now that dirt or water or mud or little tiny rocks or dust or all that is inside your tire for the rest of your tire's life until you take the rubber off the rim and clean it out, get new foam, and put it back on, which is just extremely annoying. So what venting it does is it does the same thing that the hole in your rim does so when you land it can still vent but also just from any water that was already in there uh, accumulated on your foam or in your foam I should say now since there are four little tiny holes and since they're on the outside now instead of the centrifugal force working against you now it's working for you now it is all still going to collect because it's on the foam on the inside of there now it's all going to get pushed further and further towards the end of the tire. This is on the inside, but 
it'll be pushed towards the edge of the tire and usually it just stays there and it could throw your tire off balance which can you know your tire going like that it's going to eventually rip things apart it's going to damage more than just your tires it could rip all sorts of things off um or loosen things or bend things or it's just not good you want your tires to be balanced especially in high power cars like a 6s or even 4s even 3s actually even 2s anything you want your tires to be balanced at all times somebody just slid that piece of paper into my door without even knocking Well, in anticipation of the upcoming ban on plastic shopping bags, please stop by the staff office to receive your free reusable shopping bags. We are providing two per apartment. What? What the hell are you talking about? In anticipation of the upcoming ban on plastic shopping bags. They are banning. Man, I just got the same thing. It's, they're <laughs> they're banning plastic shopping bags. I guess so. They like, were not allowed to. Oh, what the fuck? <laughs> <laughs> All right. Well, that's it. Extremely retarded. Um, yeah, okay. <clears throat> Life in a liberal state. Uh, so, anyway. Uh, yeah, like I was saying. The, the water's gonna get smashed up to the top of your tire, but now since you've got these little, to these little holes, these little vents, um, it's gonna fling out. So, not only can you, like, set your... Uh, car up on something when you're done running it and um, just run your car just spin your tires not only will it drain your tires um, from doing that but because of just the nature of how everything works uh, that will also help drain your tires as they accumulate water so as you're just using your car normally even though there's a hole in your tire, like it seems backwards, you're poking a hole in your tire, which helps keep them dry on the inside. <laughs> but that's the way it works. Because your tires are not going to be just sitting there in a puddle or submerged. So it's actually going to be draining more water than it accumulates. Even if you do just sit in a puddle. That little dinky tiny hole is not going to pull in that much water. Comparably, when it's on your car and you're running it and the tires are spinning, um, that's going to drain way more water than it does accumulate. So, yeah, I'm still freaking weirded out by the whole plastic bag thing. But anyway, the other thing that I wanted to show you guys is this directional arrow which means that's the way the tire spins which means this tread pattern is directional even though looking at it it looks the same on both sides like the tread looks reversible but apparently not because they put the arrow on there. But that arrow is the main thing that I wanted to show you guys. This whole rest of this video has just been um, random other things that I thought about while making the video. So, just a quick little video. And I shall now be uploading this to BoobTube.